Thank you for calling Black Rabbit Tavern. My name is Shauna. Hello, Shauna. This is uh, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz from Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporate. Perhaps you've heard of me, right? I have my own jingle. Uh -huh, that's wonderful. Anyway, I'm just l looking for uh, dinner reservations for tonight. Ooh, for tonight. Yes, tonight. Ooh, unfortunately, we are totally booked and slammed for tonight. What? But what? I'd be what? happy to accommodate for a future evening. All right, but it's not that big a party. There's Perry and Norm and uh, me, so that's there's, uh, that's, that's one, two, three, uh, that's 15. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, that you just said three people, you, Perry, Norm, and somehow we're at 15. <laughs> well, there's a lot of me. There's like 12 me's, and then there's Norm, and then there's clones of me. Okay, um, and Perry the platypus will be platypus. there. platypus, wow. Yes, it's a semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal. Sure. You know, sir, it is a very busy night for us. Actually, every night is a busy night here. What if I were to get tavern? rid of some of the other people in the restaurant? Get I could just, rid? Not like permanently, like I could shift them into another dimension where there is no food. Can you put me in a dimension where this phone call isn't happening? Well, but then I wouldn't get a reservation, which I... You're not going to get a reservation. But I, that's the reason I want to eat there. The food is supposed to be so good. This is the place I want to take me and me and me and me and me and Perry the Black was and Norm. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and suggest we put you in the private banquet room. Oh, excellent. Just to protect our other patrons. Excellent. From whatever dimension nonsense you're talking about. How how big is the door to get into the private how dining room? How big is the door? Standard door. Because Norm is a robot man. He's about 25 feet, but he can bend down. This has been fun, you know, because I like having new stories to tell, but I, I have to hang up now. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, I guess it's takeout. <laughs> Hello, Green Residence, this is Cricket speaking. Hi there, am I speaking with the homeowner? Um, yeah. I was wondering if you are interested in going solar. Oh, yeah, I am. We are notifying homeowners in your area they may qualify yeah. for a free installation of our solar panel system. I've always thought that the sun could give me powers, but I've, I've always waited for someone to allow me the opportunity to become a superhero, so yes. Well, good. And you could save 30 to 50% on your electric bill. Oh, I'll save a lot more than that. I'll save everyone in this city from all crime. Don't worry, big city. Sun Man is coming. Uh, hey, Tilly. Yeah? Tilly, get in here. This is so exciting. What's going on? We are going to be superheroes, and I just yeah. got really probably from the government calling waiting. me. I have We're, just been waiting. We have a limited time offer of someone like in your I want my superhero name to be the Tilly Tornado. Ooh. I just, like, fly into a city. Yes. Yes. Lots of wind, and I just spread kindness everywhere I go. Oh, that's sweet. Am I... Are your parents home? I need to speak with the homeowner. Sykeson could join in too, you know. Oh, that'd be good. It'd be fun to have a little funny sidekick. We're we're beating up bad guys, but then he comes in and says oh. a little like a silly thing that everyone. Grandma. Grandma, we're on the phone. Am I speaking with the homeowner, ma'am? Yes. Is this information? No, I have some information about solar paneling. That we're I thought gonna... I heard Cricket and Tilly on the phone. Yeah, yeah we're now we're here. here. What? I was trying to dial the weather company to find out what the weather was for today. It's gonna be zero crime with a chance of me beating up every bad guy in the city. You could save up to 30 to 50 percent on your electric bill. Hold up, hold up. Is this a telemarketing call? What? This is Stranger Danger in telephone form. This is a limited time offer. When would it be best? Oh, I'll give you a limited time offer. Uh oh. You hang up right now, unless you wanna feel the fairy. Of my fists! All right, you have a good day, man. Oh, come on, don't hang up. I want to be some man. Main Street Electronics, this is Brandon. Hello, Brandon. My name is uh, Alice Green, and I have a television that I would like to return, please. Uh, what kind of, uh, television is it? It kind of turns on and off. Right, right, okay. All I know is this TV set is a piece of garbage! Um... I'm watching shows. <laughs> Well, there are people on it dancing who don't really know how to dance. Okay. Got big old wigs on, flopping around everywhere. Uh, These uh, TV shows are so ridiculous, I smash that screen with my sword. You have a sword? Yeah, I was watching one of them shows about bacon, but they call it a war. Stop being to war. You know what's not at war? All-purpose flour and fine dot. Um... Uh, yeah. What are you even selling these TVs for if all you're showing is garbage? Well, we don't make the shows, ma'am. Maybe you should make the shows. Y'all got cameras there? We do have 
cameras? Well, then maybe you could help me make my own show. I'm not really that Here's kind an of... escalator pitch. We're gonna make a show uh, where I am actually a super agent superhero spy. Ma'am, And the I... thing is, is that nobody suspects me because this is little old grandma. But I can get intel from any bad guy with my world-famous chicken soup. Chicken soup? Brandon, answer me this. You ever done any acting? Uh, not really, no. Yeah, okay, well, this is your chance. So you be a foreign spy, and I'm gonna get some intel from you. Uh, all right, ma'am, I have to hang up the phone. Oh, that's good. I can hear your mustache. Oh, I don't have a mustache. Yeah, you do. Now, here's some chicken soup, Mr. Foreign Spy. Tell me where the nuclear codes are. Uh, Ma'am, I need to get back to work. Ah, you need to get back to work making nuclear bombs. Thank Give you me so the much codes. for calling Main Street the Electronics. Lots of millions are bye -bye. at stake. Bye bye. Thanks for calling the Kitten Friends Foundation. This yes. is Hank. Hello, is this the place where you get free kittens? Uh, we are a kitten adoption center, so we... Okay, this is Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. I need a kitten right away. Oh. I have a big rat problem. I'm sorry? I have an enormous rat problem right now, so I need a cat delivered to the house as soon as possible. Um... Here's the deal. It's a very large rat problem in that it's a very large rat. It's about 12 feet tall and he's coming out... Wait, okay, okay, I'm right, I, okay. I'm in the closet right now. I just need any size cat so I can blow him up with my enlargenator. Did you say blow up a kitten? No, enlarge it so that it can take on this enormous rat that is terrorizing me right now. It sounds like your place is not a safe haven for any sort of animal. Well, it isn't right now because there's a giant rat there, but if I make my new pet kitten much, much larger, it'll take care of the rat, then I can make it eat small again, and then I can have a lovely little kitten to hold. And to, to love. And I am so sorry. Now, you need an exterminator. I am not There's going to. There's no exterminator that is going to We're take We're all booked up. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, Please wait, don't wait, call no. back. Oh, great. Now I have to enlarge the exterminator. <laughs> well, I don't know where he went, but. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah. Do I run for the door or do I just stand here? I'm. I'm just gonna stand here. Green residence, this is Alice. Uh, oh, hello, this is uh, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Am I speaking with the animal and wildlife removal? I just said this is the green residence, you ding dong. Sorry, I, I, I must have called the wrong number. You have a nice day. Uh, uh, right, right. Right, good sir. Now, I happen to be an exceptional trapper. What kind of animal got you roping a knot? Well, you see, I'm working on an important project and I have a platypus problem. A platypus? Yes. No, no, I hate those nasty little duck beavers. I know, Perry the platypus is always trying to foil Perry my- Perry the what in the haystack would you give that thing a name? Well, I, I didn't name him personally. He works for the OWCA and the first time that he thwarted me- Get out of the big egg. You just point me in Perry the platypus's direction. And then I will end him with my sword! Uh... Cricket! Kelly! Hope you're hungry, cause we're having roasted platypus for dinner! You know, I, I should warn you, Perry the platypus is not an ordinary platypus. He's a very highly skilled agent, well versed in the martial arts. I don't know. Alright, I see what's going on here. You think I can't handle a weird little duck beaver that knows karate? I mean, I, I mean, uh, you sound like you might be a little bit older. Now you listen here, Dr. Doofin Jerk. I once conquered a pack of wolves with nothing but a toothpick and a can of beans. All right, I'm sorry. I, I just need to get rid of Perry the platypus in order to finish my baby in NATO. Baby what now? I'm going to shoot everyone in the tri-state area with this thing right here and they will go... <laughs> okay, this got weird. Thank you for calling Black Rabbit Tavern. My name is Shauna. Hello, Shauna. This is uh, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz from Doofenshmirtz Evil Inc.